Greetings of ones, Kane here. Welcome to my video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how contentment does exist. Today is a beautiful day here in colorful Colorado. It is 80 degrees. Trees are all colorful. It's an absolutely magical time here in Colorado. Feeling good. Got a good workout in this morning. Did some cardio for 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, things are going good. So let's get right down to it. Contentment does exist. Now, in order to achieve contentment, you need a full circle functioning life of abundance. What is a full circle functioning life of abundance? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys here in a sec, but you also need consistent discipline. You need to put in energy, guys. And you also need to keep in mind perseverance and never obsessing. Now, a full functioning circle life of abundance means mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, and spiritually. You need those five, guys. To achieve a full functioning circle life of abundance, which will bring contentment within. Now, uh, let's go over, we're going to go over each one. So there's mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, and spiritually. In this video, it's been a while since I jotted notes for a video, but I actually took a little bit of notes. Um, it stays on my my stick. There you go. My automatic stick, whatever you call it. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go over mentally. Now, we could all agree that we live in an absolute mess out here it is everyone's in a hurry everyone's in debt everyone's in this fuck it mode everyone's dysfunctional mentally and um mentally is a very challenging one for the majority of us uh, to achieve mental contentment, you need to relax, plain and simple. You need to learn how to relax. If you don't know how to relax, develop the skill to relax. Whether it's uh, getting a massage once a week, um, just taking a nap, put a hammock up on a tree, Take a little nap. Uh, get close to nature. Everyone's different, guys. You know what makes you happy. You know what makes you content mentally. Majority of people uh, go through what I like to call the comfort food epidemic. They gorge themselves to make them feel good mentally. That is, in and of itself, is the fuck it mode. Never go down the fuck it mode, guys. Because the majority of humans out here are in the fuck it mode. As we all know. Now, uh... Mentally... Is in congruence with the physical. Physically. You know, you benefit, you benefit yourself physically. You're going to benefit the mental. But a mental strength is more powerful than physical strength, guys. It takes a lot to survive. It, it's a, You don't survive the new world being mentally <laughs> impaired or discontent. Got to be on top. Uh, overall, when it comes right down to it, you have to relax. Because your mind is like water. As this quote in Kung Fu Panda, when it is agitated... It is difficult to see, but when you allow it to settle, the, ans the answers become clear. So, 
to benefit yourself mentally, you need to relax a lot more. You need to uh, develop gratitude. And be grateful for whatever circumstance you are in. Make use of what you got. Put in energy, put in work, but also relax. Alrighty, let's go over the physical. Let's see, physically. Let's go over the physical. Now, we need to expand energy to feel content. Every day we should be taking walks. Every day we should be expanding some energy. You know, whether it's hitting the gym, going for walks. Uh, you guys got to keep moving. Body in motion stays in motion. Got to get that flow, the blood rush, the blood flow, the chi. You guys need to uh, you guys just need to move because when you benefit yourself physically, it benefits the mental. Now, majority of Americans are physically sick. The majority of humans are physically sick. Malnourished, don't know anything about nutrition whatsoever because they're in this fuck it mode and don't really care. Uh, or follow a Nimrod um, guru here on YouTube that that uh, is harming them, especially nowadays, you know. There's so much uh, there's so much out here to where the mind could get corrupted very easily. Could, could uh discourage someone and uh, lead them on a path away from nature which is on a path of discontent and not balanced um, move a little bit every day guys uh, if you majority of Americans are stationary the majority of humans can't even do push ups to their age Someone's 40 years old, someone's 35. They can't do 35 push-ups. They can't do 40 push-ups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get up and move. All right. We went over the mental and the physical. Let's go over the emotional. Now. Emotionally. Emotional energy is truly inspiring. It allows us to achieve extraordinary results. Um, being emotional is very beneficial, but it can consume someone negatively. Embrace your emotional energy, guys, but keep in mind, you must allow everything to come and go, whether you like it or not. It's just how it is. People are going to come and go. People die. People depart. What have you. It may be hard, may be very difficult, possibly the most difficult thing, but you must allow everything to come and go. Uh, everyone sees the emotional as a as a negative out here because it's soft but remember the soft overcomes the hard everyone possesses emotional energy all these everything I'm saying everyone possesses 
It's just none of us embrace it. You know, have empathy. Understand. Be compassionate. When you understand, that's when you truly become content. Even though there are things out here you will never understand, deep down, you have an understanding. It is what it is. Everything unfolds as it should. There are no guarantees. There are no accidents. All right, so that's the emotional. So let's go over the sexual. Now, I live in a time to where pretty much everyone hates each other. Most females out here dis dislike males simply because they are entitled, judgmental, and insecure. And, uh, you know, one guy messed them up mentally to where they're psychologically damaged, polluted, corrupted, and deep down they cling on to religions, uh, beliefs of dysfunctional beliefs to where they think life must be like this and they think this is how life is but <laughs> like I said life is so unpredictable life is unknown life is brutal beautiful soft hard life is just simple balanced beautiful chaos <laughs> But uh, sexually, when you separate the yin from the yang, you will have negative outcomes. We must all embrace our sexual energies and stop clinging and stop trying to control people and stop trying to take their soul. Enjoy. When it comes right down to it, what matters is if you enjoy it. And if you had a good time. Because we're only here for so long, guys. Quit this bullshit. Get out there, get what you want, and enjoy. Plain and simple. When you embrace your sexual energy, it will greatly improve your mental. Which will lead to contentment. We're animals, guys. We eat, shit, and mate. Quit seeing the sexual energy as some negative, uh, lust, lustful, demonizing it. You know what I'm saying? We live in a society where there's a lot of Christians, a lot of retards, a lot of, uh, a lot of dysfunctional humans that believe dysfunctionally that live dysfunctionally and overall are on a path to where the only way they could save themselves, the only way they could become and embrace their inner child and be free again is death, unfortunately. Don't go down that path. All right, so that's the sexual. Now the spiritual. Now. To embrace your spiritual energy, you must connect with nature. You must be spending time in nature. We are all one. Everyone has different beliefs when it comes to spirituality, you know. But when it comes right down to it, nature is in control. Nature is soft. Nature is just simply water. Without water, we will all die. The five elements, water, fire, wood, metal, 
water, fire, wood, metal. What's the other one? <laughs> I'm not going to edit this video. Man, I can't believe I forgot the other element. See, water, fire, wood, metal. Leave a comment. I forgot one. Um, Taoist elements. A missing one. It's not air. It's... Man, I'm going to lose my train of thought trying to think of this. This is bugging me. Anyway. There is no exact science to life, guys. Uh, but to achieve a full functioning circle life of abundance, it takes money. Poverty leads to depression and discontent and a dysfunctional life, unfortunately. Eating garbage, you know, what have you. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of money to live a full circle functioning life of abundance. You can achieve it with some work. But you need all these energies. Even if you have that money, even though you work hard, you need to have all these boxes checked to live a content life. Because contentment does exist. Um... earth no yeah earth yeah okay fire water earth wood and metal those are the five elements i remembered the five elements guys uh i forgot my i lost my train of thought but we're all nature we all must take care of it Nature is everything, guys. Everyone puts a spotlight on society when society, you know, there's just too many humans. Too many humans equals too many problems. The planet is severely overpopulated, which is the reason why animals, creatures are becoming extinct. Skies are becoming polluted. Uh, the earth, the equilibrium, the, the planet is crumbling within. Um, but it's still a healthy planet. Nature is truly something special, guys. Take care of it. Don't use it as a resource. What I mean to say is, don't see it as a resource don't see nature as just something to claim because uh you will lose it it's truly special nature cannot be nature is just something pure and special all right everyone oh, i'm kind of rambling now that's pretty much all i got because contentment does exist and you need a full functioning circle life of abundance to be content. All right, everyone. Make sure you like my video, subscribe, hit that bell so every time I upload, you guys get notified. And leave a comment. Respect those who comment the most. I feel like I should say more. I'm kind of in a rush right now. So many things are going through my head. Uh, point is, I'm putting content for you guys, as always, while I'm still alive. And uh, just want you guys out there to live joyful. I just want to benefit you guys. I want you guys to uh, to enjoy. Simply. Just a 30-year-old man living very simple, but is very content. And I want you guys to feel my energy through this video because you can achieve great results if you put in some energy Put in work, believe, and relax. All right, everyone. Thank you.